Hello LEGO fans and viewers of the internet, I'm Cam and this is a LEGO monster truck I started making in June 2022. The chassis is made from very tasty, studded, classic LEGO Technic. Nom nom nom! It has two radio control servos controlling the front and rear steering. It has monster truck suspension and I've used pneumatic cylinders as air springs with the aim to control the air pressure to make the suspension work properly. So I'm going to add two more RC servos and pneumatic switches to control the front and rear ride height and stiffness. The pneumatic cylinders have had the thick Lego grease removed and air ports drilled out and thin silicon oil added. But the oil seems to cause high static friction or stiction. Here you can see the suspension travel and how the tyres, drive shafts and cylinders all avoid each other. With the rear suspension, the tyres are not touching the body shell or to causing any collisions. But they're slightly too sticky. And the question you're asking, can it land a jump? No, the tyres don't stay on. So that's another thing to improve. The suspension did compress, but the air pressure needed to balance the weight of the truck is not enough to overcome the stiction. It weighs eight pounds or about eight hamburgers per eagle or about 3.4 dungarees Fahrenheit. What a machine. Let's go for a spin. And there's the timing units and the engine and all the working air tubes. There's an RC receiver and a four cell AA battery under where the driver sits and four blue air tanks, one for each corner of the suspension. The body shell started as a studio project because I'd never owned these parts before. They weren't available in many colors, so this was what I came up with. The doors are fragile, but I thought it'd be fun if the body were to break off as the model was driving, like the real ones. The Technic guy has a steering wheel, pedals and levers, and there's some other parts I want to try as well, like the flexible parts that could represent the suspension limiters, and thinner air cylinders that would be more scale-like and have different tuning. There are four 2-litre pop bottles supplying the engine with compressed air at about 30 bar. My pressure gauge has become faulty and starts at about 10 bar, and the engine is running! But not quite the powerhouse of RPMs and revs I was hoping for. The timing unit is touchy, so in goes the hand and the timing unit doesn't always work the same. Here I can kind of supercharge the engine by pressing on the tubes a little. This one is not springing open properly. Installed it. I made other timing units. This one pinches tubes, but it takes more force. And here's the cams and levers inside. And another one that's a V-shape that I only made in CAD and Studio. Is the engine running again, and differently again, and at slightly lower pressure. And even lower pressure. I will post a video of just the engine run, without any editing or a voiceover, here on my channel. And we're away! The mighty car crushing power! So yeah, please leave comments, how do I get this going 10 times or 20 times faster? And second gear. Here you can really see the sticky point in the timing cycle from the pulsing in the tyres. So we need more RPMs and a lower gear ratio. And here's the gearbox, made in Lego first, and then I drew the chassis around it in studio. Sometimes I work in Lego first, other times in studio, just whatever seems more practical. Do I have the idea? Do I have the parts? The system has four blue air tanks, one for each corner of the suspension. So the air has somewhere to go when the suspension is most compressed. Here we are running again in first gear. There's two airlines supplying the engine with air pressure from the four two litre pop bottles at about 30 psi.
Here's an early version of the chassis, just trying to get the geometry correct with the initial gearbox, but nothing else fitted, and experimenting with cross bracing to get those nice Euclidean triangles. And here's the underside of the tie bars that make four triangles that allow the suspension to move up and down and one wheel at a time, but not really go sideways. Why do my wheels go the wrong way? Ah, oh, well, you see, there's a pair of opposing bevel gears inside that deferential unit in the middle of the red gear. I would like a Ferrari bevel gear on this model, really. Should I buy a couple of Ferraris just for the differentials? And now, I'm just playing with my Lego because I've got air cylinders on a monster truck. So a bit more air pressure and I can have a jumping truck. It needs a bit more pressure to overcome the stiction in the cylinders, but then again, that pressure is too much to really compress into the air tanks. So I need smoother running cylinders. I'd like the wipers, the rubberized, um, the things inside the cylinders that I don't like drawing because you can't see them normally. So the things on the end of the rod that catch the air, the plunger, I'd like them to be slightly smaller in diameter. And I might try cleaning out the silicon oil and running them almost dry, see if they can go more smoothly. It's possible to raise and lower the truck very slowly by finding a sweet point on the switch. And I'm going to put red control servos on a pair of pneumatic switches for the front and rear suspension and program the travel adjustment on the switch so I can have a, the truck rise and lower slowly or hopefully have it jump in the air. And I'd like to coordinate that with stunts. And there has to be another pneumatic switch to control the throttle. And two more RC servos to control the reversing gearbox and the two-speed gearbox. So in total, the truck's going to have seven radio control servos. And here I'm just playing with the suspension again. I would rather have the deferential where the steering servo is so the drive axles don't go through the suspension. If I can lower that deferential by one stud, I can have just two universal joints rather than four per axle. So there's always design improvements, there's always changes to make. It's just experimenting and creatively playing with the Lego. Nom nom nom! Let's go for a spin. If you want to support me by buying my Lego pieces from Bricklink, please leave your comments below. What body shell should I make next? There's a giant shark, there's a dog. This one was based on Gravedigger. Thanks for watching.